Hello guys, Be Power back here today with another video on Minecraft. As you can see, okay, I'm this is an, this is another episode, episode four of Powercraft. So if you guys didn't see last episode, we built this nice little farm, and as you can see, like the crops have grown a little bit, but not fully. They're not fully grown yet, and. This episode is going to be nothing to do with farming. As you can see in my inventory, I've got a lot of cobble I've actually got all of the cobblestone that we got from when we went mining in episode two. And we're actually, and seeing as this doesn't really seem a very safe for like with like mobs around or anything like that, then what I actually thought of doing is using this cobblestone to kind of create like. A kind of like boundary around the house and farm. So like, so for, so for example, right here, uh, obviously, just gonna be like, just like like an art arch, I guess, like this. You guys hear what I mean? Actually, maybe not, maybe not that low, to be honest. So like, as you can see, it's like. Like hit right here would be like the entrance, but then, but then obviously, like all the way around the bed, all around, all the way around the house is going to be like a wall. So, so what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to chop down this tree, like so. And then what I think I'm going to do, so I think I'm actually going to like chisel this all the way. So that way, I can just like walk up to it and just like, just, like jump over the wall. Right, there we go. To be fair, it doesn't really need to be like that fully gone, but I'm great, my shovel just broke, but no biggie. I mean, I've got like, like looking here, I've got. 37 feet of the line, so yeah, I'm good for pickaxes. So I can actually craft myself three, uh, three spare iron pickaxes. So I've got this one and as well as three others. Just in case I actually need them. Just really, I was thinking I'm actually going to leave them in here for our next mining adventure. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go the wood. Nope. We've got one stick, but I'm kind of useless. Okay, craft these into these, and then I get myself. Is there anything in here? Yeah, it is. Give me that. And then I can craft myself six iron shovels, which is pretty good. I think I've still got almost full iron armor left. So, yeah, so all of this needs to be chiseled away. Doesn't really matter about extra stone. That can very easily be mined away. Like so. There we go. Nice and easy. So, so, I'm, so I'm mining all of this away so that way anyone like walking around on the wood hole, like anyone walking up there hopefully won't be able to like any mobs. Well, because this isn't a multiplayer world. So it's just gonna be me. But so, let's see, let's see. mobs can't or the mobs can only see they can only jump up one block. So all I really have to do is just make sure these are at least too high. Like so. so if I break these. Alright, good, good, good. So if I just fill these in, just give myself some dirt like that. There we go, just place you in like that. So obviously if I just fill this in. No, it's like if I need to I can just jump over like that. But just in case, well obviously so the only mobs that would really be able to get through like that are spiders. But obviously any cobblestone I have left over I can just place some slabs. So that's fine. Yeah, so 
Let's see. Just so you know, Lee, mobs aren't smart enough to do that. So, right, yeah, that should be this should be good enough. Now I'm going to then what I have to do is just build this out like this. have this as like a full wall. It doesn't even need to go around it's like behind the house. It just needs to look like at least the back of the house. So it just needs to go to about just needs to go up to at least here. Like this. This tree, I'm probably going to cut down this tree to be honest. So, so you have to remember, I've seen mobs can only jump up one block. So if I just terraform the land like this, and hopefully, so then like all of this excess dirt, I can just use to fill in all of the water. So any mobs like that just drowned can't like swim under and up to me. Yeah, I've definitely got enough of this. So it's just like this. Just like this. And then all I have to do for this is just build up a plate. I'm just going to build up like three going to be honest, since I've got plenty of cobblestone. Actually, nah. Not really the point, to be honest. Is there any point building up three? I'm going to just save this cobblestone. Just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rest of the cobblestone and crack myself some cobblestone slabs. So this, I think over two stacks should hopefully be enough. Alright, so... So as you can see, we want it to be like that. I just block you off like that. Just do that. Now. There you go. There we go. And all I have to do now is just do this. Nope, not you. You don't need to be up there. I just place you like that, just like that, and then if I just change you to a full block, like this, then spiders won't be able to, oh nope, not you up there, I don't need you there, come here, thank you, oh father, come on, I, pro I, prob I probably have made like more than enough slabs, I mean, I've got over two stacks, so I've still got plenty of cobbles in case I need it. Just like this, as you can see. Oh god, seriously. To be fair, actually, I may as well use all of this dirt that I've got up. Oh, it's night time. It's like, it's like, just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go to sleep. Just for the sake of the video, so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. Yes, it's going to be quite like a secure area, and I guess you're wondering what I'm going to do with this with this entrance, where I'm just going to put like wooden blocks on the floor, wooden planks, and then just three gates. So that way, like 
People can really only get in if I want them to get in. Alright, I just need to do this. Oh, so I can get rid of this dirt afterwards anyway if I don't have to. There we go, so if I just do the unit there. Yeah, I've still got quite a lot. And I've still got, yeah, over a stack of cobblestone on me. And look, there's co look, there's cobblestone up there, up there. Yeah, so I've got plenty. There's cobblestone there, 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 up there. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so I've got plenty of cobblestone. I don't actually just build you like that. Yeah, so, yeah, so alright guys, so the next episode of Powercraft will obviously be next week. There we go. I'm going to have to do the same again here. There we go. I guess that looks alright, I guess. Well, even if, well, like I said before, if I don't like it, I can just change it. So I've got a stack left. If I just do it like that, at, nope. Take it back. If I just do it like that, at, and yeah, so like, mobs won't be able to shoot me. And obviously, obviously skeletons will be able to shoot me, and spiders won't be able to climb above it either. So like realistically, what I have to do is just increase the height of this, and then obviously mobs definitely can't get up. Done. I can just keep them here, like that. Nope. I can just fill them in like this, like that. And there we go. Now mobs can't get anywhere into the house. And look, I've still got over a stack of cobblestone left over. So if I just get rid of, if I just dispose of all of this. So, then what I can do is, what I have to do is, what, is it three gates I need? Yeah. But then all I have to do is just make myself Seeing as I've got some cobblestone left over, 
I may as well fill in this point piece. Like this. Alright, there we go. Done. Now what I'm going to do is, so we haven't got that many torches in there. So what I can do is I can just set some of this wood off smelting. It's like nine wood, like nine, nine sticks to smelt nine times. It's like nine logs. Probably isn't going to be enough, but... Well, I'm in a prime location for wood, so... I think that should be enough now, hopefully. Alright, so... I'm going to put some more torches. Then I'm just going like, to scatter torches around here. I don't actually do, actually. Actually, I don't need to smack the wood. It's cold here. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. And there's quite a lot. I've added level 10. I could just fill up this, I could just fill this with dirt there and then. Done. Problem resolved. Now it's just going here, get the over double stack of dirt, just fill it in, and obviously I've got plenty of torches now, so if I just light this up, I think I'm just going to use all my dirt to actually fill all of this water in, but we don't need this extra water anymore. Guys, so see if I fill all of this water in, then that then a that will give me more space to like build things like little farm like other little farms here like cow farms, pig farms, sheep farms, any of them. And then also uh, uh, that will also <coughs> excuse me guys, but like that will also like start things like drowns from like swimming up from like. And like because because this water is the same water as out as that river out there. It's like if a drowned spawn, they could just swim under uh, and swim up and just end up inside of the water. So if I do this, then that will stop a like any drowned from like swimming up like, under the bridge into the property. So it just makes it safer. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, like yes, like. Yeah, yeah, two stacks is definitely going to be enough. Yeah. Alright, I'm just placing some torches around here. Just so that way mobs definitely can't spawn. There we go. Yeah, guys, so... It's obviously... And also, actually, soon as, I'm gonna, soon as I've got so much, soon as I've got so many torches, I may as well actually like mob proof like up here as well actually, so that way mobs won't spawn up here either when I'm not around. There we go. So certain mobs. Can only spawn in certain light like, levels. So like, if it's like a quite a low light level of like, it's like five or six, then a lot of mobs can very easily spawn. But so it's like, like if it's like I was like if light level like if the light level is too low, then a lot of mobs can spawn quite easily. But if the light level is like this high, then so they won't be able to spawn. And we just mob proof up here as well. Right, there we go. And just get rid of this. 
this dirt. Alright guys, and it's just about becoming night time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just put all of this away. Yeah. Going to bed. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. But yeah. So that's like quite easy like house house defense. Yep, so so every time I wake up in the morning, so every time I start an episode, and I'll always hope, even if I say it's for difficulty and mobs do spawn, none of, no mob can spawn in here. So, and well, well, well unless like a drought wand is like, heater, and they like, somehow hit me, which is probably quite unlikely. And actually, as soon as I've got a lot of satins, I think I'm just going to smelt the satins. And as soon as I've got a lot of item, I might as well... What are you doing here? Uh -huh. get, get out! Thanks for the free leather. That's quite kind of you, actually. I got myself some free leather for doing that. So that's, it's like, it's like, instead of actually having those three, it's like, instead of actually having a, a, those three gates there, I think, I wish you could get rid of that middle gate and place cobblestone there, and you can place iron doors on either side. Alright, let's see. This should hopefully be enough. So what I'm, so... Let's see, so, I'm going to get myself some, some iron doors, I've already got three. Now what I can do is, if I just... Oh, I don't think I've got quite enough. No, I don't, just. I can press the iron door there, I can press a pressure plate inside. Glass. So actually, if I play, if I just get myself one little bit of stone, put that in that there. Then what I can do is, I can just place that in there, just like that. Yeah, I know that looks a little bit weird, but I sort of like it to be honest. And then this was really stone is smelted. So if I just go to my normal crafting, I just have a stone button, and just like that. Then I'm also going to need another one for the outside. So I'm just going to set a another bit of smooth stone smelting in the furnace, like so. And actually, instead of having like that look, like that little block of stone, you know, cobblestone, sorry. They're actually just gonna make that into planks. And then have it like that at. And then we can just have a button on that right there. And then we can just have another. I could have like. I could just turn you into a button, like so. And then I can just place a button on the outside as well. And done! Yeah! I like it. So that way, a, a, only a player can get through. Mobs can't. And obviously, mobs can't spawn inside here either because it's too light. And obviously, obviously, yes, obviously, nothing can spawn on the roof either of either of these, either the house or the farm, because it's too light. And even if, and obviously, drowned from underwater, so actually can't swim up and access. The property, as you can see here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then any mobs that spawn out here, uh, if they spawn out here, then they won't be able to shoot me in from inside. And even if spiders spawn out here and they see me running inside, they try and climb up. They won't because as everywhere has slabs, so they won't be able to. And 
and mobs can't make that kind of jump. But also, obviously, it's okay. Yeah, give myself a little bit more space and I'll take it away anyway. Easy. I'm just taking you away at that. Yeah, so, yeah, so like mobs can't get into where I am. And yeah, guys, so, so, so I think next episode, episode, so I think next episode, episode four, or, is probably going to be like, like adding to the house, maybe, or exploring. I don't know yet. But her bo her if you guys have any ideas for anything, for, any for anything that you want me to do in the next video, then definitely let me know in the comment section below, as I'm always looking for new ideas. But yeah guys, that's, that's it for today's video, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then guys, stay happy, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.